so I watched two of Groovy K's 2000s videos he did about a year ago, a little, almost two years, I should say, where he talked about the family trees of both Tails and Sonic, and I thought they were done very well. But, but with all due respect, he did leave out a few details. Now, I can understand that if he and others prefer Ian Flynn's run with Mobius years later than Ken's. I get that. I totally understand it. But if you're going to do a full you know, context of it, you have to include that interpretation as well. So let's start with Sonic's family tree, you know, especially when it comes to the future. First of all, first of all, in the original uh, Mobius years timeline, the kids of Sonic and Sally are pretty much teens. Manic is more along the lines of, let's say, 12, 13 years old, still kind of growing a little bit, still kind of maturing, still acts a bit childish, but he's about 12, 13 years old. His sister is about the age Sally is in the present timeline, the you know, current timeline, about 15, 16. And she kind of finds it adorable, cute, and funny that her brother has a crush on pretty much her best friend, Lala Sue, who is the daughter of Knuckles and Julie Sue in the future. And Sonya is about, like I said, 15, 16 years old, and she looks pretty much like a reincarnation of her mom, except for the outfit. That's the only change. Now... You know, because, now, because of the fact that they're portrayed in this manner, you know, things are a little bit more different. Things are a little bit more different to where pretty much, you know, Sally, well, not Sally, but Sonya and Lala Sue, you know, are good friends with some of the other daughters of characters like SBO and all that, uh, who I think his daughter is... Salmina or something, or Salmon, Salmia, and I think somebody else, but they also basically are at a point to where they can have a girl's night along with the moms, that being Julie Sue and Sally herself. Now, with that out of the way and stuff, let's take a look at Tails' side of things. One of the details that he left out was it wasn't just Sonic and Tails that went to rescue his parents and bring them back to Mobius. No. Instead, Knuckles also joined along for the ride because he had to provide the means to help the spell that Tails' uncle Merlin Prower was casting for such a feat to be accomplished. That, of course, being, I think, the star ring. Thus, t- thus when Knuckles brought it you know, to Knothole uh, to be used, it allowed them to go across the universe straight to the planet uh, that they uh, were destined to go to, or basically wanted to go to, get Tails' as parents, and bring them back, and thus fully complete the Prower family once more. So that was just a bit of a detail right there that you left out. Now... As far as Sonic's family tree goes even further, going into the current timeline, you know, yes, things did, or the current Mobius years timeline that Ian did, I should say, correcting myself there, yes, they were younger. The reason for that is because of the fact that the ending to Ken Pender's uh, run on Mobius years later ended on a cliffhanger, thus opening the door potentially for something more to happen. Ian Flynn stepped in and pretty much wrote the storyline to where things had changed in a way that weren't, you know, very well received. You know, they weren't pretty much uh, basically, you know, what you would expect. So because of that, you know, any chance of, let's say, Sonya and Manic being around the same age as Lala Sue uh, pretty much out the window. Instead, they are looked at as the youngest members of the new Freedom Fighters, which is led by Lala Sue and Sonic, or King Sonic, basically. But yeah, they are looked at as the youngest of the group because of the fact that when the timelines got altered and reset to be differently, Sally, out of you know just trying to keep peace in the kingdom, had to regrettably, you know, regrettably marry Shadow. And thus, you know, we ended up with a couple of years, or several years, I should say, of turbulence, I guess you could say. 
You know, we settled with, basically we dealt with a couple of years of turbulence is what happened. Now, the thing is, they did address a lot of the stuff that happened. You know, Sonic's disappearance and everything. And not sure what that was going to, you know, not sure what, you know, that was going to lead towards and, and, and all that. But they did address that in uh, Ian Flynn's continuation. Now, like I said, things definitely had changed. Basically, uh, they were dealing with essentially over a decade's worth of, oh, I wouldn't say a decade's worth, but I would say mainly about five years, five to ten, maybe about a decade's worth, but mainly five years of dealing with a tyrant king with, you know, basically Sally unable to do anything. Which you would think she's the ruler. Why wouldn't she do anything? She's the true ruler. Hey, it's Shadow that she was married to, unfortunately. Now, with that said, again, because the timelines were altered and everything, uh, basically, Sonic is now homeless. You know, ho you know, he's homeless. He does remember trying to fix things and all that because in the original timeline, the world was tearing itself apart because of an anomaly, an unnatural anomaly that happened in the past. So Sonic trying to go back to that point where this anomaly was, ha anomaly was happening basically disappeared, basically got wiped out. And it unfortunately changed things to, like I said, to the point that Sally had to marry Shadow and everybody was pretty much erased and rearranged into a different timeline. But the catch basically being that a lot of them knew about the past life. Even Sally knew of the past life because of her close proximity with Sonic, her closeness with Sonic. Anyway, long story short, you know, Sonic is found. And he is able, after a lot of misunderstandings and stuff, he is able to reclaim the throne along with Sally and thus set things pretty much right. Again, the only change, though, is the kids. That being Sonya and Manic being the youngest out of the Freedom Fighters, being a lot younger than they were before. Now, you might ask, well, what about Tails' family? How does his family get affected by this? Well, that's what's interesting. You see Tails being portrayed as a genius and everything uh, pretty much created some kind of force field, I guess you could say, some kind of protection, some kind of protected aura around him, him and his family, which would allow them not to be affected by the time change. In other words, they would still be as they are, which basically means Sky and Melody, him and Mina's you know, son and daughter, were pretty much unaffected. They were pretty much basically, you know, as they were always meant to be. You know, pretty much the same age and everything as we lost, last saw them, or pretty much were given an idea of what they looked like in the past, if you catch my drift. So, basically, they were unaffected because of tales, like I say, creating this protective field around them that, you know, didn't allow them to be you know, pretty much uh, changed and altered or wiped from existence like everything else was. And because of that, they too became part of the new Freedom Fighters and everything. And you can pretty much consider that Melody and then eventually Belle, who is Antoine and Bunny's daughter, you know, along with Jock, who is their son, you know, pretty much became uh, best friends, that being Melody, Belle, and Lala Sue, because Sonya now is just a little too young to even, you know, be best friends like she was in the original timeline. Although she doesn't mind when Lala Sue comes around and babysits her in Manic, they don't mind and everything, because they know, they know pretty much she can have fun with them um, to a certain point before they have to settle down. Anyway, anyway, long story short, because I know that sounded a little bit more ramblish and confusing. Long story short, things did get altered because the overall storyline, when you connect both of them, 
basically does tie into the family trees of these characters. Again, like I said, with Sonic's family, Sonic and Sally, their kids were altered, pretty much wiped from existence, and reincarnated basically in the new timeline as being the youngest. Pretty much, they were born essentially after Sonic and Sally got, well not born, they were conceived and then born basically around the same time Sonic and Sally reunited in the new timeline, got married, he became king, and so on. And along with that, along with that, Tails was able to use his genius, his IQ, to create some kind of protective aura field around him and his family to prevent them from being affected by, you know, the fourth field. About, not the fourth field, but by the time change, thus not, being, not, thus not being erased from existence. So that kind of answers a lot of the questions right there. That kind of answers a lot of the questions. and kind of fills in the gaps, Groovy K, that with all due respect, you kind of left out, but I can understand why. I really can. Now, if you want to go a little bit more depth into detail, a little bit more like, hmm, you know, I wonder about something, there is a bit of a speculation going around. There is a bit of a speculation going around. You see... It looks like, in Ian Flynn's interpretation of Mobius years later, mostly with the 30 years later storyline, or finale, if you will, uh, does, which introduces us at the end to the new Freedom Fighters of the future, it does seem like they were hinting at Jock, being Bunny, you know, being, who is Bunny and Antoine's son. They did look like they were hinting at maybe him hooking up with Melody, and as strange as it sounds and seems, it looks like maybe they were hinting at Belle, who is Antoine and Bunny's daughter, maybe having a thing for the cute and adorable Sky Prower. So, yeah. The Dekula and Prower family, you know, maybe having something going on with their kids, despite one of them being maybe a, year, a few years younger than the one that's interested in him. But, again, that's just mere speculation fans have been having, mere theorizing that fans have had because of what they see in those panels. Of the final pages, that is. Anyway, though, anyway, though, I just started to do this video a little longer than I expected, audio video, that is, to kind of help fill in the gaps, Groovy. Hope you'll do more. And if you want an idea, my friend, if you want an idea, maybe you could do a theorized speculation discussion video on Tails and Mina hooking up. Kind of theorize and speculate how that came to be. Kind of try to piece things together. But that's up to you. That's up to you. But I would like to see it. I would like to see it and everything. And maybe also, since it's kind of a, a thing right now, if you go to Divinot anyway and look for yourself, maybe you can also do a what if video on the female Sonic characters like Sally, Bunny, Amy, you know, Lupe, you know, uh, getting elastic powers and having fun with it and pretty much kind of seeing out of all those characters who you could decide to talk about out if you want uh, basically you know point out which one do you think would have the more fun have more mischiefy fun you know with the powers than anything like you know shape shifting into whatever they want whoever they want melting down into a puddle liquefying if you will that's up to you but these are just suggestions. But again, I just wanted to come on here, kind of do this video as a response, fill in a little bit of the gaps that you may have, you know, may have purposely, and I understand, left out because you feel, you know, the original version of Mobius years later was not as interesting as this one. Ian's take, I should say. But I just wanted to do this, kind of give you my thoughts, help you f feel some little point, fill in some gaps, like I said. And that's all, all I'm really going to say, guys. So let me know what your all thoughts are down below. Comment if you like. Live chat during the live chat doing the video in the live chat where super chats and super stickers are open. Also, super thanks afterwards. Also, like the video. Like also find me on Facebook book if you want. Also, find me on Twitter as well under B.W. Roses or B.W. Roses 1998 or 1979-98 basically. 
um, you find me there, follow me there. Also, f check out the Patreon at BW Roses, so $1, $3 tier. Also, check me out at divinart.com, says so BVW1979. Also, check me out at Vimo at BW Roses for content you get here on YouTube. Also, check me out at Venmo at Brian Walmer 2, Cash App at BW Roses98. Also, at BW Roses Discussion Sorry for audio podcast locations, except, for, excuse me, except for Pandora. But anyway, though, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Groovy K, I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, guys, I will talk to you all later. Sorry if it felt a little ramblish, but hey, this is what happens when you do things unscripted.